Hi, I'm Bill from Pool Miser. We're here today to talk about the Pool Miser and how to install it, and a few of the things that you should know about that will make it easier to install. So I'm going to start by opening up the box and showing you what comes with the Pool Miser. Standard toilet valve, although the one that we sell with our Equipment is not standard. They make it specifically for us, and I'll get more into that as we go on. This is called the overflow tube, and I'll show you where it goes as well. It's to handle any time the valve man malfunctions or you get over rain. It's a place in the pool miser tank that allows the water, the extra water to drain out rather than overflowing your yard. This is the pool miser tank itself. And this is the ring and lid. This is the trim piece here that will go on top and level with the top of the, of the deck. These are the pool miser instructions. And attached to them are three screws that are used to attach the lid to the ring uh, on the finished trim of the pool miser. There's the washer, and then there's also a small filter that goes inside of the valve itself to keep uh, debris from entering and fouling the valve. The uh, tank itself is um, got three orifices on the bottom of it. There's a three quarter inch line, and that goes directly to the water supply. There's a one inch line, and that is for your overflow. The overflow is gonna run to either open air in the yard to a drain somewhere or even out into the gutter. But it is a place that allows uh, the water to escape in case you have an overflow due to a faulty valve or a large rainstorm. And then the third and very important is the equalizer line. It's an inch and a half line. Please do not reduce it as it will affect the uh, operation of the device. Keep it at an inch and a half. The, uh, three, the inch and a half line is going to run directly from the pool miser tank into the pool itself. And the only thing you need to be very careful about is when you install it, that you don't create a situation where air can collect at the top of the pipe. In other words, the, the, the water the, the equalizer line can run directly to the pool. It can have a dip that goes down. You can, you can elbow it down and then back up again, but you cannot elbow it up over and then back down again because you're creating a space where air can collect and once air fills that area there's no more communication between the pool and the tank itself so a straight equalizer line with no bow uh, up in, well let me turn it this way so as this runs to the pool make sure that it doesn't do this it can do this it can turn and do that but you cannot create a situation where air can collect up in that upper tank. That's very important. Okay, uh, next we'll go to uh, the installation of, of, of the tank itself. Okay, you've got your plumbing ready to go in. You're gonna set this in the ground and you're gonna want the top of the tank, this top of the tank, to be exactly three inches above the water line. You wanna install this tank so that it, the, this top layer here is three inches above your intended water line and then it'll be set at the right height for controlling the level of the water. 